Oh, YouTube, how I love you so. I love sharing my life experiences and my reviews with you. And here's another. This is the portable RODI unit, four stage, from eBay for approximately $70. I really can't remember. Anyway, it's sold by a user called Pure Water Club. I've had it for about a year, maybe a year and a half or a couple months past a year. Anyway, uh, for you that don't know what this is, out of the tap, your water comes out with dissolved solids, metals, all kinds of minerals, whatever, chlorine, all that good junk comes out and if you use a TDS meter like this one uh, of course it's in the case it will tell you the TDS of your tap water <clears throat> and then you can cross reference or actually compare it to the water that this unit uh, produces um, what you hope for in a I guess this is more of just a little bit of educational plus review. What you want is zero TDS water. That is the point of using the filter in the first place. It's for reef tanks primarily and people that want to use pure water for their aquariums. Um, as you can see here I've got the portable system. I can attach it and remove it and store it as needed. The hose is running into a five gallon bucket and let's see if you can see here that's how fast it's coming out but that is with the water pressure that I have in the city I live so and I really don't have that tested so I can't help you there anyhow the water that's in that bucket is hopefully zero TDS I actually haven't tested it for a while um, this unit can produce zero TDS um, as you can see, the unit I bought, when I got it, I chose the sink adapter. Uh, piece that came with it. I think I actually had to tell the company that that's what I wanted. And it just has a little lever on here. You hook it in and just push that little bolt. I mean, it's really easy to hook the line to it. Turn your cold water on. Make sure you use cold water. You do not use hot water or warm, warm water. Or it will damage the membrane or maybe even some of the other filters. I'm not sure. I just I know not to use hot water. So just use cold water on full blast. Turn that lever up. And as soon as that lever goes up, it automatically feeds water through the system. Produces the clean uh, zero TDS water. And it spits out. I'm um, not exact on this, but it spits out four times as much water as it actually makes. Um, some people like to save that water and use it to water their plants or, I don't know, you can look into that yourself. Um, but there you go, that's what it's doing. It's actually uh, disposing of water as it makes water. Uh, yeah, so I've had this about a year. I changed the two carbon filters and the DI resin filter after about six months I was getting about four TDS and I replaced the three filters left the membrane the way it is which is the big canister you see there and left it the way it is and changed those three and was back to zero TDS uh, it's been about a year now um, I really haven't checked the TDS lately because uh, I don't know. I just I really just think that it's doing okay, and plus I'm just kind of lazy. But uh, anyhow, that's how that works. That's the portable system, and I love it. And it just goes to show you don't have to buy the expensive junk. The generic stuff does work, and I've had no problems out of this thing leaking or anything. Uh, uh, usually whenever I change the filters I have a little bit of trouble with it uh, leaking here and there but the problem is solved really quick uh, just 
by doing a little bit of a minor twist on some of these connections. Um, the way these this this water line connects is real real cool. It works out good. Uh, I think at this point I'm probably rambling. Um, so I'm going to jump off here. I think that bucket will be full in about an hour. If you're wondering, I never time it because I just I don't I don't think it's really important. I think it's gonna make it when it does it, and, and I'll come in here and check it and be happy. I'm not gonna obsess over how fast it makes water, but uh, I do know the system works, and I'm actually making this video as I'm making water to test if the hardness changes when ran through RODI. So hopefully the user on Fish Tank TV will get uh, some good news. Uh, so. Anyhow, thanks for watching and enduring my rambling. Later.